hello everyone welcome back to crown geek in this video i will be helping you to fix the application was unable to start correctly with the error code 0 x c 7 b click ok to close the application you might be getting this error message while uh, after installing any kind of application or game and when you try to open it you get this error message popping up now this can be with any application or with any kind of games so we won't be discussing about the causes what are the reasons we will simply move to the solution before moving to the solution i would request you that you should go ahead and restart your pc and check back again if it doesn't fix your problem then we can move to the next step where you need to check that your dotnet framework has been enabled on your pc so you you can just make a right click on the windows icon and choose apps and features now from the right hand side you will find programs and features just click on it and the application uninstall or change a program program and feature box will now be up and here you will see the list of all the application installed on your pc and now i can see dotnet is has been installed here microsoft dotnet framework microsoft.net framework so you can see that i have already installed it but in case if you do not see here then what you have to do on the left hand side you will see turn windows feature on or off just click on it and make sure this dotnet framework 3.5 includes dotnet 2.0 and 3.0 this option and the below dotnet framework 4.8 these both options are being checked all right once checked if not then you have to check it then click on ok and still if you do not see this dotnet framework here then what you can do i will leave a link in the description you can just come to this website and download the dotnet framework 4.8 from here once you are done just restart your pc check back again and i'm sure that it will fix your problem and if not no need to worry we have many other solution left so you can just try that just close it and now what we have to do is just, just try opening your application or game as an administrator. So for that, you have to look for your game. Let's say I use Valorant. So you just need to click on the icon. Just make a right click on it. Choose properties. Click on the compatibility tab. And here just make sure to run this program as an administrator. This option has been checked once checked just click on apply and then click on ok so even if this doesn't work for you then we have to go and make some changes in the registry so for that just press the windows and r key to open the run box and type here r-e-g-e-d-i-t registry editor this will open up registry editor on your windows pc then click on ok and now you can see the registry editor is now up so I will be giving you a path in the description. You just need to copy that path and you have to paste it on the top here. What will happen that you do not need to manually open all the registry. You can simply move to the exact path where I want to take you. All right. So let me tell you that where exactly we have to go. All right. Now, once you come to this option, you have you have to look for a, a registry that is a load app in it. So in the list you have to look here and here it is load app in it underscore DLLS. This is the registry you have to look for. So the path, this is the path that I will be sharing in the description. You simply need to copy the path from the description paste here and you will come directly to this location. Now here just double click on load app in it and you have to change the value from two to zero once done just click on ok and now you can close it now instead of restarting now i would recommend you that you should apply all the remaining solution and after that you can finally restart your pc to check back if the problem is fixed now the next thing that you have to do you have to go with a check disk so for that just in the search box type cmd and choose run as administrator the black window will be coming up and here you have to type a command that is chk csk then space c colon space forward slash f forward slash 
R. So again, this command will be in the description, so you do not need to worry. Once you type here, hit enter, and this will start looking for some kind of uh, any problem or anything. So just press Y to give the permission and then hit enter again. So now it says the volume will be checked the next time the system restarts. So as I said that you have to finally make a restart once we are completed with all the solution. So you can minimize this. And in the next step, we also need to run a clean MGR because this there can be problem with some temporary file or some infection. So we have to clean that. So just in the search box type clean MGR and the disk cleanup option will be coming up. You have to click on run as administrator. So now you can see disk cleanup is now coming up and here you will see all kind of file here. So you can just the, all the file which are checked you can just click on it and then here you will find windows error reports and feedback just need to check this option directx shader cache you just need to check this option and then click on ok and then click on delete files and this will take some time depending that how much data you have and once this is completed then you have to finally make a restart and check back if the problem is fixed and if not then you have to go and update your windows as well so check back like if, if there is any kind of update available so you can just type in the search box update and check for update option will be coming up just click on it and you can click on check for updates and if there is any then you have to go ahead and follow the steps and just let the window update your operating system and after update just make a restart and check back again i'm pretty sure that the problem will be fixed and still if you have the same problem then you can go ahead uninstall it uninstall the software or game on which you are having a trouble you can use a third party software like a revo uninstaller that will completely remove your game or application from the computer and after that you can try again downloading the software so hopefully this will work for you guys this was the complete information and i'm hope i'm very sure that this will work for you as well so if this worked for you make sure that you hit the like subscribe to the channel and i see you in the next video Bye bye